Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Great Greed. Since last time I've made my way up to level 14 and uh, yeah, we're going to the Dragon Jail. Well, actually we're in the Dragon Jail, so I don't know what she's complaining about. I don't know why we have to take her where we already are, but whatever. Anyway, it is imperative that at this point you grind up to level 14 because even at level 12, um, it's just gonna be like really difficult to get through here so just hang out at the entrance grind um up those two levels and that will just make your life so much easier as we go through this place we get a new spell silence that does exactly what you think it does and i guess i'll go ahead and equip it i mean i don't have anything else going on there uh let's see where is it silence there we go um sleep and push are kind of worthless so i'll go ahead and put it up there where sleep is why not whatever give it a shot We'll see if it works against the boss. I mean, worst thing comes, worst thing that could happen is I just lose a turn pretty much by using it, but yeah, not that big of a deal. So anyway, we're in the dragon prison, if you forgot, um, to rescue Lollipop's father, Dr. Bromide, from the evil Sarg. I guess he's a henchman of uh, Biohaz. Hey there. The unreadable, unreadable? I imagine that's supposed to be unreasonable laws, but okay. Oh. Okay, well I guess that's why Tuna changed their laws all, uh, so often. Solitary confinement? Wow. Oh, so they're digging for toxic stones. Stones that will pollute and all that. I guess. I don't know. Sarg is in the back. Okay. This must be the back where solitary confinement is, and that must be Sarg. Now, here's the deal. Um, the heal one spell will only heal 50 HP max, and that's not really good enough at this point. So this med two that we have 10 charges of is definitely what I want to equip because that will heal up 100 HP. And um, Lollipop does have the ability to heal you up in battle as well, but I do want to go in full health. So go ahead and heal up. My MP is fine, and let's face Sarg. Uh-oh. Yikes! I thought this was a jail! Is this a jail or a mine? What is this place? For boss time, it's Sarg himself. We'll try silence, and of course he parried it. That's great. So let's just keep on going against him. If your HP gets to about 60, that's whenever you're going to want to heal. And um, hopefully Lollipop will continue healing you up nicely. Because um, otherwise you really do want to, you know, you you need to make sure that you are healing. Don't always rely on Lollipop. Uh-oh, yikes! Yeah, he used power, which really increased his attack power, which really sucks. Um, he can end up dealing a lot of damage to you that way. Uh-oh. Yikes. See what I mean about having med 2 to restore a lot of HP? Like, you need it. Especially if you get poisoned like that. This guy can be really, really rough. If Lollipop could actually get off her ass and heal me more often, that would be great. Holy crap! Oh, I'm getting low on my charges of uh, Med 2. I, if I run out of charges of Med 2, I am completely screwed. Um, oh, sweet! We got him! Great! Awesome. Yeah, he can be difficult. That's why you want to be at level 14. If you're not at level 14, uh, grind. I don't know what else to tell you. Oh, okay. And what do we get here? Ooh, regain one. Awesome! Oh. Oh, it's Father and Spring Roll. So much for being solitary. Why are there two people in here? Oh, well. Isn't Spring Roll Lollipop's boyfriend or something? I think so. Oh, yeah, I forgot what the princess even told us. Something about Biohaz, I'm sure. Oh, you have a whole study on Biohaz. No wonder you were put in jail. Show this to Princess Truffle of the Nation of Curry. I guess that's the next place that we have to go to. Oh, okay, so you found Biohaz's weakness. 
great. Oh, At least you got the father's permission before he died right in front of our eyes. It's kind of sad. Uh-oh. Yikes! It's a load-bearing boss, or death, I guess. I don't know why the mine is collapsing just because he died. Or just maybe just because Sarg died. I don't know. Anyway, now we're back at, um, Lollipop's house. Oh, good. Oh, you're gonna become the doctor? Huh. Okay, so we have to go beyond Cho Chocolanma? What is Chocolanma? Oh, I guess it's a mountain. Yeah, somebody in town said that he likes to climb mountains, so it's kind of cool. Oh, okay, so the mountain to the south is a Choco... Ch I imagine it's supposed to be, like, Chocolate Mountain? That's that's what I'm guessing, Chocolate Mountain, but I don't know, that's a mess right there. Anyway, before we go to the Chocolate Mountain, I want to go to the town of Tuna, which is to the north. So I'm just going to meet you there. I made my way here. Oh, thanks. And now we actually have some new dialogue. Oh, what are the new laws? So we're not allowed to pollute, harm citizens, or discuss politics. Yeah, now that Sarg is out of power, we actually have some decent laws. Hey there. Oh, and the mayor has returned. So basically, everybody says one of two things. The town mayor has returned, or we can keep the peace in our town. That is the only dialogue changes from all the various randoms wandering around. So let's just go back here and actually talk to the mayor. Hey there. Oh, okay, great. Ooh! And for saving him, we get 2,000 gold. That's awesome. So that's why I wanted to go here anyway. I'm going to get out of Tuna, go back to Herbal Village so we can go to the Chocolate Mountain. Okay. Uh, to the left of Herbal Village. Yeah, this is the mountain of Chocolanma. Okay, sure. Now, once you climb this mountain, you cannot go back to this nation. This is your next point of no return. So, I've gotten everything done that I want to. I'll go ahead and climb up this mountain. He almost fell to his doom there. Oh, okay. So now we've made it to the nation of Curry. Oh, um, great. So, yeah, that's your way of... You're, you're not able to go back. Okay, where are we at? Oh, okay, Cinnamon Village. And here we have a magic shop. Let's go inside and uh, see what we got going on here. Hey there. Uh, they do sell med twos, which are kind of nice, but we will be getting a heal two spell uh, relatively soon, so I'm not going to worry about this right now. They also sell second level offensive spells. Here is something kind of cool to note about the offensive spells. They all cost the same amount of MP, meaning Flame 1 costs the exact same amount of MP as Flame 4. Um, Flame 4 deals a hell of a lot more damage than Flame 1, though. So if you want to upgrade these, they really won't cost you that much MP. Um, but for the most part, attacking is going to get you through this game. The speed spell will increase your agility, but I don't really know what agility does. I think it just increases your dodge rate. Um, so yeah, it's there. Um, just because we haven't really showed it off, I am going to buy a Bolt 2 spell. Um, just... Why not? For shits and giggles, I have plenty of MP, so let's go ahead and buy that. And let's see, I'll put that here. I could buy the speed spell and just see about it, but I really just don't think it does anything. Oh, it's supported by the power water. Um, okay. Hey there. Uh, we have a new sword here, the foil. And let's see what else we got going on here. The upgrade to the tin, the copper helmet. So let's go ahead and equip that stuff as well. There we go. And the copper helmet, equip that, perfect. Okay, moving right along. Let's see, who else is here? Hey there. A special curry? Uh, sure. Ah! Whoa! What in the world? 
going on? I'm running all over the place. Hey, uh, are you all right? Oh, it was so hot it made him run around. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, I like curry. I've had curries before. I don't like spicy curries. In general, I just don't like spicy food, really. Pipe Valley. There's a village where a man named Ralph Vader lives. Yeah, for those of you of a certain age, you know who that's referring to. For those of you who are really young, you don't know who that's referring to. Ralph Vader is referring to Ralph Nader, who was the leader of the Green Party back in, like, the 90s. He ran for president multiple times. He never really got anywhere, but yeah. Oh, there's some girls staying at the inn. Could you move out of my... Now you're going to move out of my way. Thank you. Okay, so there's some girl staying at the inn here, and apparently she's really smart. Let's go talk to her. Hey there. Um, I guess. Oh. Who are you? What's going on here? Okay. This person must be really important. Hey there, lady. Is this an inn or a library? Like, how does she have so many books? And how does she have a bodyguard? Oh, you must be Princess Truffle. Got you. So what is his power source? Toxins are the source, so pollutants. He pollutes the world because his power source is pollution, essentially. So that things must be, or that, so on the contrary, things that are pure have to be his weakness. So in the Pipe Valley, there is their leader, apparently, Ralph Vader, that we need to go find him because he's the leader of the Green Party and all that kind of good stuff. And he'll know about the purest thing in the world. Oh, great. Hey, more party members with Princess Truffle joining our party. Let's see what she has to say. I thought that it was a valley. There's a big difference between a valley and a plateau. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so we got our princess. We got some new equipment. We got a new magic spell that I'll probably never use and was a complete waste of money. But we also have our, ne our next destination. If you want to go to the inn, you can, but I'm fine. And I'm like, what, 200 experience away from gaining a level? So I'm not going to worry about it. Bam, booby. Yikes. Let's actually cast our Bolt 2 spell. Bam! Yeah, it, it dealt damage to myself, too. Like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about magic. Well, actually, it wasn't the spell dealing damage to me. It was, you know, I'll, I'll do it again. Bam! Yeah, so it did deal a decent amount of damage. 60 damage to him. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. Like, I I'm dealing 50 damage with a regular attack. And the Bolt 2 will deal 60 damage. Now, I will say that the... Oh, I slipped and I fell. I will say that the Bolt does have the, um... The ability to shock an enemy, which essentially paralyzes it. So there is that. But honestly, for the most part, just avoid black magic. Really, healing and effect magic is the way to go in this game. Again, I'm climbing up... A valley? Okay. Yeah, if you didn't get Truffle, you wouldn't be able to come through here. The guard would be like, you know, go away. You're not allowed through here. The trial of this... Now it's a mountain? Is it a plateau, a valley, or a mountain? I really need an answer here. I can't hurt any enemies on the mountain. How am I going to get through? Really? Seriously? I have to dodge and run without hurting them. That's just lovely. So, so remember, you dodge by hitting the B button, and most of the time these enemies will just kind of charge off screen like that. Um, you can also run away by hitting the start button, but you'll pretty much fail constantly by trying to run away, and it's probably just a better idea to try to dodge. As you've noticed, probably, in that battle right there, and it goes by really quickly, Truffle's, um, little 
ability that she has there that's kind of a crappy ability is she's able to um, analyze an enemy and tell you what weaknesses it has. Not that I really care. I mean, we just went from having a girl who could heal us to now a girl who essentially just scans. Uh-oh. Yam bam! Yikes! Let's keep on uh, dodging here. Whoa! Oh, yeah, you get hit for about 20 damage every time you dodge, and they go flying off the screen, but honestly, it's... See, it, I, okay, that... Right then I tried to run, and it said failed. Yeah, I tried to run again, failed, failed. So screw that. So again, just dodge. It is so much easier to dodge than it is to try to run um, constantly. Yikes, I really need to heal up. Let's see. There we go go. So I think that you guys get the gist of this place. You're literally just dodging from every single encounter that you come across, and you're going through this mountain slash valley slash plateau thing that just looks identical until you finally make it to the end. Ooh, we get a prize! Hey, hey, awesome! Ooh! Woohoo! Oh. Why can't I just go to that house right behind you? Okay, do you have anything else to say? The Nutmeg Village. Oh, wow. Well, I thought that... Okay, that's kind of odd. Well, here I am in Nutmeg Village, and we're going to be exploring this place next time. I'll just play Great Greed. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.